In this video, we are going to show you how to create a meter profile in Calman. So first off, what is a meter profile and why would you want one? A meter profile is a feature in Calman that enables you to reference a fast colorimeter with excellent low light handling capability to a highly accurate reference spectra radiometer. The benefit to creating this meter profile is it ensures your lower cost colorimeter sees the display like your reference spectro enables you to create a meter mode specific to the display's technology. For example, the colorimeter you're using doesn't have a meter mode for your display because maybe it's new technology like quantum dot, laser, OLED, or something else. And another benefit is that it leverages the strengths of both devices. The speed and black level accuracy of the colorimeter and the reference performance of your trusted spectro. Meter profiling isn't something that we came up with. This method is called the four color matrix method. It's a NIST standard. So we've adopted it into the CalMAN software, enabling you to leverage this technology. Before we begin, let's review our system that we're using today. I'm running CalMAN Ultimate Software on Windows in VMware Fusion on a Mac Mini. For my pattern generator source, I'm using the Virtual Forge pattern generator software with an AJAT tap driving a Panasonic LCD LED white backlit flat panel. My reference spectro is a Jedi 1211 spec boss. The target colorimeter we're using is the SpectraCal C6. And you can use this meter profile method on multiple versions of CalMAN software. It's supported on all the software versions on screen. Before I open up CalMAN, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that both meters are connected to the USB on my machine, and that since I'm running VMware Fusion, they're connected to the Windows side of the operating system. With CalMAN open, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that my pattern source is connected. I'm going to select SpectraCal, and I'm using the Virtual Forge. Select the machine and click connect. All right, looks like I'm connected. I'm going to select the meter drop down and select find meter. I'm going to uncheck all meters except those listed below. Select the Jedi spec boss and click search. Now that that's connected, I will select the main menu drop down and click on meter profile. With this dialog open, you'll see that the reference meter is the Jedi Spec Boss 1211 and the target meter is the Jedi Spec Boss 1211. I need to click find more meters to find my SpectraCal C6. To do so, I will click all meters except those listed below and uncheck the Jedi Spec Boss and click search. Once CalMAN has found the SpectraCal C6, I'll make sure that I've assigned the reference and target meters to the appropriate hardware. So for reference, I'm using the Spectro, and the target, I'm using the C6. Now we've completed step one. Step two is to click the Add Profile button. This creates a blank profile, so that way we can rename it and do the measurement process. First thing I'm going to do is rename this profile. I like to call it the display we're using today. It's a Panasonic LCD LED white backlight. And the meter I'm using is the Jedi 1211 for C6. And the date is July 31st. 2015. You can name it whatever you want, but that's just the way I like to name it. So I know in the future, um, when I want to use the same profile over again, that it's specific for a, the display with the right hardware. Now, you want to make sure that you've selected the best starting place meter mode. And since I know this display is an LCD LED white, I'm going to select that mode. The next step in the process is selecting a single pass or a multi-pass. The upside to running single pass is that it's faster because it's running both meters side by side at the same time. 
The downside is that the meters aren't reading the exact same spot on the display. The upside to running a multipass is that it's reading the exact same place on the screen, which reduces any differences due to uniformity potential issues in the display. The downside is that it takes a little bit longer and the process just goes that much further. Uh, for this video, because I'm more concerned about accuracy, I'm going to go ahead and do the multipass and I will click multipass. It's going to go ahead and prompt me to position the meter since I've already done that at the center of the display. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. While it's running through this process, I want to mention an added benefit of doing a meter profile. One benefit is that you don't have to lug around your spectro all over the place if you're calibrating a whole bunch of displays. You can create profiles for each one of the display technologies and then just use your lightweight small colorimeter to run around and measure and calibrate all the displays. All right, let's go ahead and move the Jedi spec boss out of the way and position the C6 in the center of the display in the same location that we just measured with the spec boss and I'll go ahead and click OK. One use case we've heard from people out in the field that's doing meter profiling is that they will profile one meter to the other and then calibrate the display with the colorimeter or let's say you're creating a 3D LUT that takes a couple of hours so that way you can take advantage of the fast speed of the colorimeter. And then once you're done you can take your spectro and do a quick color checker pass with the spectro to verify the results and provide the confidence you have in your spectro. Looks like the meter profile is complete. There's no need to save anything. It's already been saved. You can see that I've got all the data here in for my four color matrix method. I can click close and I can begin my calibration. Once the profile is complete, the target meter will be active and the created meter profile selected. You can see that by looking at the meter drop-down tab. We've got a SpectraCal C6 and the custom profile. If you just want to double check, you can go in here, see that I've got the C6, my starting point, LED, LCD, white backlit, meter mode, and the meter profile selected as a Panasonic with the Jetty to the C6 on today's date. If I want to unselect the profile and use one of the default meter modes, I can just click None. If I want to pull that profile back up, I can just select it from the drop-down and begin the calibration process. If you would like to watch a video actually calibrating a display with a meter, click the link. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.